are celebrating because NAD did it again. After the launch of the M33 all-in-one and the C298 power amplifier, they now launch the M23. It's the master series version of the C298, so this is also a power amplifier. And these three products have one thing in common, and that's the Eigentakt power amplifier module. And Eigentakt is a class D module, and it's not really an evolution of the UCD and Hypex of Encore. It's more like a revolution because it sounds so fluid, so controlled and so real and it's still very affordable. So for the normal people out there you can now buy a very very high performance power amplifier for relatively little money. Well 3500 euros is still a lot of money but we compared it to the Passlabs X150.8, and that's the 8700 euro power amplifier, and it's our new reference. Uh, and they got very, very close. So yes, the Passlabs is a little bit better, and it's overall better sounding amplifier, but you need to pay almost 9000 euros. And this you can buy for 3500 euros, and you get, well, not identical performance, but you get really, really close. Um, if we look at the aesthetics, I think this is how a Master Series should look. I mean, it looks great, I think. The, top, the holes in the top, the front plate, the metal casing, the touch buttons for on and off, it all just fits very well for a high-performance device. And that's why I thought the M10 was not really uh, a Master Series, because the M10 doesn't look like a Master Series. And I think, uh, if I remember correctly, it doesn't own the Eigentag Purify Eigentag modules. Well, if we look at the specifications, um, they're very close to the C298, of course. I mean, uh, wattage, bridge mode possibilities, in and outputs are quite the same. But the M series just gets this tiny bit more performance. So it's 200 watts and 380 watts. Uh, 208 ohms and 380 in 4 ohms and it's 700 watts plus in bridge mode. Yes, you can bridge this amplifier to get even more power. So you can two, put two of them in mono and just play the hell out of your loudspeaker, <laughs> I think. In and outputs are also quite the same as the C298, so you get balanced inputs, uh, single-ended inputs, you get stereo loudspeaker outputs, and you can put it in bridge mode if you wish. Uh, know that the Eigentag modules are really balanced, so you get a full balanced design and a full balanced amplifier, so no trickery with op-amps or any stuff like that. And know that NAD put his own source over the Eigentag. So the input stage and the power supplies are different from the stock input stage and power supplies you can buy online. Of course, the power amplifier module itself is quite the same, but yeah, an amplifier is more than only the power, ampli uh, than, than the power amplifier module. Most of the sound depends on the power supply and the input stage. And that's where we hear the differences. Uh, we also compared the Eigentact DIY kit with the C298 and they do sound differently and I did prefer the NAD version. And this M23 even tops the C298 in terms of uh, fluidity, control and uh, overall glow like I like to call it in a way. It just sounds so fluid and that's why I called it the end of class A because Class D used to be a little bit rough, and Class D used to be a little bit brittle. That is completely gone with Eigentakt. So know that Class D made a huge leap with this uh, revolution in amplifier technology. We also measured this amplifier and compared it to the specifications that NAD communicates online. And it's very, very close. Uh, NAD says 200 watts in 8 ohms and 380 watts, if I remember correctly, in 4 ohms. We measured 180 watts in 8 ohms and uh, 357 watts in 4 ohms. But yes, they are off a little bit, but know that they can measure a little bit differently and they can stop measuring at a different point than we do. In bridge mode, we measured 722 watts 
uh, and they communicate 700 watts. So it's all very close. But even more important than the output wattage is the distortion, and that's just so ridiculously low with this, this kind of technology. It's even lower than our pass laps. <laughs> so, and that's a very good designed amp and it's a very good performing amplifier. But I can talk, the distortion that I can talk has is just so incredibly low that I think we are reaching the ends of our prism D scope at that point. So overall, I think it's worth a celebration. And that's why we had some celebration because I think this, this kind of technology is the start of getting really good performing hi-fi to people that don't want to spend tens of thousands of euros on hi-fi gear. So let's hope that this is the start of a trickle down from Eigentech to even more affordable amplifiers. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.